pack with me for a four day trip in nine different outfits in just a duffel bag. I'm heading on a little solo self care road trip for Memorial Day weekend, so I am packing all of my comfiest loungewear items along with some hiking options because there are some really pretty trails nearby in the area of Hocking Hills that I'm going to. I'm of course packing my items into my all time favorite Amazon packing cubes because even on a quick road trip, your girls gotta use packing cubes. And even though I'm only going for four days, I am packing nine different outfit options. That way I have an option for hiking that I can sweat in and some more casual stuff to change into at night along with some pajamas and two different bathing suit options because there is a hot tub at the place that I'm staying. If you wanna learn more about how I pack my packing cubes for maximum efficiency, I did just post a video last week. I talk about how I fold to the length and width of the cube in order to keep my items wrinkle free and stuff in as much as possible. I was able to fit all nine of my outfit options plus my pajamas in this large size packing cube and then in the smaller packing cube, I'm putting in all of my underwear for my trip, my socks for the hiking, a bra, and then two bathing suits. I booked the Airbnb I'm staying at primarily for the gorgeous hot tub views, so bathing suits are number one priority for me for this trip. These packing cubes have a compression feature, so I'm using that to compress all of the extra air out. And I'm packing everything up in this $20 expandable duffel bag from Amazon that I've had for years and is hands down one of my all-time favorite travel bags. I'm putting my packing cubes at the base and then filling it with my makeup brushes, my makeup bag, my electronics bag, my hairbrush, and then I am packing up both my slippers and my sandals into a dust bag to protect it from everything else in my suitcase. And then I am wearing my tennis shoes on my travel day to save space since they take up the most room. I'm also packing my toiletry bag filled with a bunch of spa and self-care items. Check out my last video to see what I packed in there. And of course my mini sound machine because I do not travel anywhere without this guy. I need it to sleep. I'm also packing this rechargeable lantern, which is great because I'm staying in a cabin. So it'll be great for walking around at night. I'm also throwing in a bath bomb for one last treat yourself item. And that is my bag all packed. I love this bag because it actually has an expandable compartment that you can pop out at the bottom in case you go shopping on your trip or just need some extra space. Now it's just time to throw this in my car and get road trip ready for Hocking Hills for the long weekend. See ya. So I just packed for three days in Italy in this tiny little bag, which I'm so impressed with. So each outfit I put into a plastic food bag and I squeeze the air out before sealing them so they're literally vacuum packed. Um, and then they fit behind this really small compartment, which is so handy because it left loads of room. I packed a little tote bag just in case um, and then all my makeup went into here and the rest of my makeup, skincare and liquids went into the plastic bag for security. Italy still require you to wear face masks on their transport, so I've just packed a few of these. So in the front pocket, I managed to fit in my Kindle, uh, my passport, which probably isn't the safest place, but it would do. Then my AirPods, charger, adapter, and also a razor I just put in the main bag. Realized there was actually loads of room left, so I put my Fuji film in there with some spare film as well. Realised I forgot a few things, so I've just chucked those in there along with a mirror, which is so handy for doing my makeup in the airport. Then this is my airport outfit ready to go and everything fits in this little bag, which I'm so impressed with.
the way every day goes Every time we've no control If the sky is pink and white If the ground is black and yellow It's the same way you showed me Nod my head, don't close my eyes Halfway on a slow move It's the same way you showed me How I pack my carry-on toiletry bag for a beachy vacation like a cruise. The bag I'm using is the Kelpak Cosmetics case in size small and it is my go-to toiletry bag. To meet carry-on requirements, all the liquids I'm packing inside are under 3.4 ounces or 100 milliliters, including these two sunscreens that I'm packing, which I always pack more than one sunscreen for a longer beach trip. For any of my favorite products that are over 100 milliliters, I depot them into these silicone travel jars from Amazon. These come in a four pack and are really great for packing your liquids. Inside these silicone jars, I am depotting my face lotion, my aloe gel, which is a must bring for me anytime I'm spending a long period of time in the sun, and also my favorite Amazon shower scrub, which I use in the shower in order to get rid of any flaky skin. I'm also packing my favorite makeup remover that gets rid of waterproof makeup, and the rest of the items on the side are shower basics like my razor and shampoo and conditioner. On the other side of the bag, I'm packing my roll-on deodorant, some dry shampoo, which is a must for beach hair for me, my face sunscreen, and also my face massager, which I use to wash my face. This is from Amazon and will be linked in my travel favorites list. I'm also packing a mini toothpaste, some eye cream, and a little chapstick, as well as my scrunchie I use to hold back my hair while I'm washing my face, and my toothbrush. I'm also stuffing this little mini bag with some face masks, some eye mask, and a bunch of skincare samples I want to use up on the trip. And that is everything I'm packing in my summer carry-on toiletry bag. Like I said, all of my liquids are 100 milliliters or less, so they are okay in this bag in the U.S., but if you are traveling internationally, you need to make sure all of your liquid items fit into a quart-sized Ziploc specifically. International is notoriously more strict about their liquid so make sure you are looking up the regulations for the airport you're flying through. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. And I told him, well, thank you, baby. Anything for my favorite lady. Well, I gotta go. They just let me know that I could pick up my Mercedes. I got hoes in different area codes. Everywhere I go, I call and they drop the low.